Hey guys, Dark Recycle and FPV, and I'm working on that Horus X10, the, the Free Sky Horus X10 uh, radio, this one here. And at this point, what we're doing is we just finished the video on installing the uh, access module, basically taking out the internal uh, ACCST module and putting it in an access module. So now you can run access on this radio. But there's one problem here, and it, this is why it's taking me a couple days to get this done. So let me just get everything set up here, uh, and let me zoom out on the radio. All right. So no, let me zoom out. There we go. All right. So here's what we got. The problem is, and this is what I found out, and I didn't know this up until doing this, that in, when you upgrade the internal module, it does not allow the radio, it has no effect on the external module being able to be uh, accessed. So after going back and forth and speaking with FreeSky about this, apparently there was a latency issue that, um, that uh, was not able to be overcome uh, when trying to do an external module. And so therefore, no matter what, even when we do this access update, which I'm gonna show you how to do it, uh, you will still have to run, as you can see here, I'm running an R9M, uh, sorry, I guess I'll turn this over so you can see the camera. So this is the R9M standard long range module. And if you do have the 2019 access edition, you will need to downgrade it to uh, ACCST for it to work in here, okay? So that's the disappointing news. I was not aware of that. I am now, and I'm, I mean, it does kind of bother me, but that's just the way it goes. So here's what, here's what you have to do though. And here's where you have to be very careful. So I am going to put the, uh, my screen up now. So let me put my computer screen up. There we go. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and head on over to the web here. And I'm going to go to our website, right? So let me, um, let me do something here. Let's go to, uh, where's our website? Oh my gosh, I just drew a blank. Sorry. Here we go. I was looking at everything else going on. Okay. So one of the things that we want to notice here is that um, I did create a new page here uh, and it's going to be under tutorials and let's see i hope it's going to be here should be the first one here it is i just started putting this up today um, so there's going to be more content on it and i've already put the first video but here's the thing you're going to need to download this here this is the firmware for the mod that you're going to do inside if you try to <laughs> find it on free sky's website they've got so many different versions of it they've got one for the radio version blah 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 next thing you know you've downloaded the wrong one it won't work so just take my word for it download this one and then follow the video uh, that's going to be put well this video that's going to be posted right here so you can um this video will reference coming to this page okay all right so first thing we're going to want to do is let's head on over to OpenTX, and what you'll see right here it says uh you have to follow the firmware download from OpenTX. see the video that is this video that you're watching right now so we're going to go to OpenTX. here's what you need to do in your radio settings this is where this is this is what took the longest time for me to figure out what combination i needed leave everything like it was and only use the internal if you use the external you will now not be able, it, it, whatever it does to this radio, it prevents even the ACCST module from working from that point, okay? So you need to make sure you do not check this, all right? And then when you've got, uh, you've got no heli, Lewis scripts, flex 9RM, and then you've got internal access. Once you have those selected, then you're going to go ahead and download it. Now, I've already downloaded mine, okay, and I saved it. Then once you do that, you're going to flash it. So you'll click this button here. And if you don't remember how to flash your radio, you will find that uh, I have mine labeled because I downloaded all different, I downloaded just the ACCST, I downloaded access where it's both internal and external, and then I downloaded this one named it iAccess, which is for internal access, okay? Once you load that on here, and, and I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and do it anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my radio. So here goes. So you get ready to put your, your refer, you're gonna update your firmware here. And then you're going to go ahead and I got to find the right cable. I always, all the cables are black here, so I always get the wrong one I pick. All right. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and you can tell it that you want to flash this one. Only one you want is this one. So if I was to download this again, okay, if we were to actually do this from the beginning, I would have my settings. I would have my settings here. Okay. One, two, three, here. And then I would tell it to go ahead and download and I would click download firmware and this is the firmware that I named iAccess right there, okay? So I would click save. And I'm gonna click yes, I wanna replace it just because. All right, once it's downloaded, if your radio is plugged in, you will go ahead and click yes to flash it and just click right to TX. It's a pretty quick update, okay? Now it's gonna get your internal module to now be able to take the firmware update, okay? And it says it's done. It's going to take just a second here.
All right, so we're gonna click OK, click close. Now I'm gonna go ahead and update my. Uh, wait, let me abort this real quick. Let me do this. One. I'm just gonna do this real quick just to make sure. I should have only two errors on here, which are the two files that are dated incorrectly. I'm not worried about them, so we're just gonna keep moving forward with that. <clears throat> All right. Just let it sit here for a while because it takes a while. <clears throat> Come on already, my lord. Excellent. Okay, so we're all good. Um, and we're going to click uh, close. Now, there's one more thing that we need to do. So now our radio has been updated, right? So we're just going to go ahead and use the eject feature here. So just eject. Let's do it again. Eject the other one. Okay. Unplug the radio. All right. And then when you get to here, you're just going to, uh, it's a little bright, I guess. Let's see. You're going to just scroll down to exit and exit. Okay. Welcome to Open TX. Okay. Now, Next you're going to want to do is your, hold your system button down, then press page one time, go to firmware, free sky, or, uh, sorry, not free sky, hit, go back a little bit, go back to two dots. You want to go to open TX, so you want to flash your bootloader, and remember it's the I access right here, and hit that, and we're going to say flash bootloader. Now our, our bootloader, our internal, everything is done, okay? We're ready to now be able to uh, flash the internal module that we just installed with the right firmware. Now, on the website, uh, on the website I was telling you about so let me do it like this here we go all right so if we minimize this I gave you the link to that file right here okay that's the access uh, module file so when it's I'm going to show it in the folder here I've downloaded this a hundred times uh, so this is the folder right here and when you extract it you're gonna find this file x10 s ISRM x uh, s x10 s uh, version 2.6 when you open that there's one file in there and that's all you're gonna do so you can do one of two things here, right? Now, if we just want to speed this along, um, you can just write this directly to your um, radio by just taking the, uh, uh, where's my cable again? Hold on. This cable, plugging it in while the radio's on, coming over here, going to storage mode, and then waiting for your file folders to pop up here. Give it a second, you'll see them. Okay, here they come. So that's the first one, and then here is the, this is the SD card inside uh, the radio, and then you could easily just take it over to your TX, uh, and you can drop it in here. Now, I did that, so it's right here, okay? So this is the file that you're gonna be using, and then what you do is, once that's loaded on there, uh, once you've got that on there, you will just eject your radio, okay? Make sure it gets on the SD card. I also did put mine in the SD card folder, uh, that's on my computer. Like I said, I like to keep my stuff organized. So then once you do that, come on over here, hold the system button down, press page one time, go to firmware, go to FreeSky TX, scroll down to the X10S ISRM, okay? Click that one time, hold it, and then it says flash internal module, do that. Now this is gonna take a minute to do, <coughs> okay? But it will say writing, and that's gonna take a little bit. I'm not gonna fast forward this video, guys, so you can easily just drag this scroll along, but. I'm gonna let this thing run itself out, okay? Now, what I will say in the process, and let me just let me just swap screens here. So here's the deal. If you don't load this firmware properly, then when you go try to check your firmware on the radio, and I'm gonna show you this when this is done, it'll just have dots. It won't give you the firmware version because it's the wrong firmware. When you do this, um, once you flash this though, the, the, the strange thing is now, whatever, my module, the module will no longer read the firmware version that's on it. So you'll just have to make sure you have the right firmware. Even though it doesn't read it and it just gives you these dashes like there's nothing there, um, it is reading. Or it may say it's not even, or not available. Whatever it is, I tested it to make sure that even if it gives you the, the reading says not available or the dots, the external module, the R9M, not the ACCST version, is working properly, and it is. So I used a uh, R9MM receiver, which is sitting right here. 
and I flashed and I bound to it. And even when I when I cannot see a firmware version on my radio, and like I said, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It still binds, and it still it will bind. So you don't have to worry about that. Just make sure you use the right firmware for your um, for your R9M. Uh, uh, module and uh, so I will show you that as well but right now what we're gonna do is we're waiting for this to get done so let's head on back over there and we're gonna let it run its course here guys so I told you to take just a minute um, and then I'll show you what it looks like on the inside and then that's it and then you guys can take your race I like I said I'm a little bummed that we couldn't use access for the uh, for the uh, external but um, since all the, since a lot of the access receivers long range can be backwards compatible to ACCST uh, I didn't have a problem with that at all. So, so I mean, for me, it's fine. I just thought that this module would have also assisted in that way somehow, but it didn't. All right, so we're almost done. Um, and this is the setup that I have where I tested the R9M. -M. All right, and so I'll show you guys that in just a second and show you that it does work even though it doesn't give you a reading. It's very strange. And I did try that with the 2019, even though it does read access. If you if you load that firmware, if you load that OpenTX and check external mod access, um, it will allow you to select an R9M 2019, or R9M access. It won't work though. It won't bind. Okay. All right. So we're done here. So it says it's successful. Now what happens when I go to model is I can now go to my internal and I could click it and I'll have access. I'll have the option to add access uh, as the uh, as uh, the module, or I can turn it to D16. But remember, now I don't have anything for D8. That's gone. Okay. Uh, as far as the internal goes, here's what I want you to see. So I'm going to turn the I mean the external. I'm going to turn the internal off because I don't need that on right now. So let me turn that off. Now let's look at the external. The external is R9M. There's no other options for R9M. There's no access, but there's all the other ones. But let me just go to R9M. Right there. Okay. Now, when I go to my system checkup and I look at module firmware, look, my internal is off because I turned it off, but my external is on, okay? The light's on, you can see that, the, light, the red light's on right there, and, but it says no information. And here's the weird part, so watch this. So I'm gonna take my uh, R9MM now, and I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, you should see a light there. There it is, you see the, you see the light right there? And you know, you see it's green, okay? And check this out. It, it's, I have telemetry. I'm bound to this. The light is green, all right? And I'm bound, but the system still says it has uh, no information on firmware, as, as if it doesn't exist in the radio, okay? So this is one of the things, once you flash that firmware, it stops being able to read the firmware version on the module, but the module still works. And if I try to turn it off, Right now, I it's going to tell me connected. it's connected, okay? And then I can tell you also that if I was to turn the module or the um, the receiver off, I will get my message. Uh, basically, um, my radio will register uh, at some point here that my telemetry is lost, okay? So this is that's basically what you do to get your stuff loaded so that you can run uh, long range and you can well, you still run R9M but it'll be ACCST and then you will still be and you will be able to run internal uh, like anything that's not long range access edition uh, on your X10 all right uh, so I hope that helps guys that's that's the final step on this actually um, there's really nothing else left to it except to set up your R9M software I'll put a video out on that as well so you on how to bind these two but other than that that's it so if you guys have any questions please uh, head on over to our YouTube channel uh, subscribe to it and, and post the questions there or if you want faster response post them to our website go head on over there and use our contact page at cyclonfv.com but please show your support here uh, I really appreciate that all right and then uh, if you want you can also head on over to our Facebook page join our groups page uh, and just post any questions or chat with us or see if, you, if we can help you in any way okay guys so that does it for this part so that's the two series on um, how to upgrade it to access uh, and that covered how to install now the next series is going to be on how to revert everything back to the free sky os for those of you that want to get out of open tx and head on over to the free sky os uh, i also believe we can do the ethos os i think i'm going to check on that i'm pretty sure that is uh without issues at this time uh and other than that guys god bless be safe most of all go spend time with your family you never know how much time you have left go make the most of it you can always fly later guys talk to you later peace